I will praise you, Lord, among the nations. I will tell of your name to my kin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. As we come together to celebrate these sacred mysteries on this great feast of St. Patrick, let us call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you came to call sinners. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you heal the contrite. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. And let us pray. O God, who chose the Bishop St. Patrick to preach your glory to the peoples of Ireland, grant through his merits and intercession that those who glory in the name of Christian may never cease to proclaim your wondrous deeds to all. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, be serious and sober-minded, so that you will be able to pray. Above all, let your love for one another be intense, because love covers a multitude of sins. Be hospitable and to one another without complaining. As each one has received a gift, use it to serve one another. As good stewards of God's varied grace, whoever preaches, let it be with the words of God. Whoever serves, let it be with the strength that God supplies so that in all things God may be glorified through Jesus Christ, to whom be belong glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. God. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. God's marvelous God. deeds to all Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord, all you lands. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Announce his salvation day after day. Tell his glory among the nations, among all peoples his wondrous deeds. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Give to the Lord, you families of nations. Give to the Lord glory and praise. Give to the Lord the glory due his name. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. He has made the world firm not to be moved. His, he governs the peoples with equity. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I give you a new commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. While the crowd was pressing in on Jesus and listening to the word of God, he was standing by the lake of, by the lake of Gisineret, he saw two boats there alongside the lake. The fishermen had disembarked and were washing their nets. Getting into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon, he asked him to put out a short distance from the shore. And he sat down and taught the crowds from the boat. After he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, put out into deep water and lower your nets for a catch. Simon said in reply, Master, we have worked hard all night and have caught nothing but at your command, I will lower the nets. When they had done this, they caught a great number of fish and their nets were tearing. They signaled to their partners in the other boat to come to help them. They came and filled both boats so that they were in danger of sinking. When Simon Peter saw this, he fell at the knees of Jesus and said, depart from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. For astonishment at the catch of fish that they had seized him and all those with him, and likewise, James and John, the sons of Zebedee, who were partners of Simon. And Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid. From now on you will be catching men. When they brought their boats to the shore, they left everything 
and followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Well, good morning. Happy St. Patty's Day. Kindergartners, you look like a bunch of little leprechauns. And all I got stuck in my head now is that theme song from the uh, Lucky Charms, Magically Delicious, all right? Well, today we celebrate the great feast of St. Patrick, Bishop and great saint of Ireland. As all of you all know, uh, early in the <coughs> 300s, uh, St. Patrick was captured by slave traders, and he was enslaved by the people of Ireland, the Druids, and he became a, a sheep herder. And throughout time, he always longed to go home. And eventually, he got that opportunity when he escaped and ran away. And lo and behold, after a few months, he found himself back home in England, and he thought everything was just perfectly fine. He was no longer enslaved, and his life was his to live as he wished to. And yet, within his mind and his heart and his soul, there was this voice calling him to do something different, do something bigger, to do something magni magnificent. And he realizes after time that it's the Lord calling him. And he's to go back to Ireland, and he is to become a priest and eventually a bishop, and he is to proclaim the word of God to the Gentiles in Ireland. And he must have been terribly afraid. He was going back to where he was enslaved. He was going back to those people who ruled over him. And these people at the time were not necessarily just the most wonderful, nicest, kindest people you could ever meet. They wanted his head. And when he came, they battled against him, not necessarily in sword or in, in, in rocks or stones, but more along the lines in words and prayers. They prayed to their gods, and he trusted in our God. And lo and behold, what seemed like a blink of an eye, the people of Ireland accepted his word, they accepted the faith, and they began to be baptized. And all of Ireland eventually would become Catholic. All because he listened to God's voice. We see that same message in our gospel today. We see Peter and James and John. They've been out all night trying to catch fish so they could make a living. And they hadn't caught anything. And here comes this itinerant preacher that they've heard about, this guy named Jesus of Nazareth, who seems to be, I don't know, something special in the day. And he asked them if he might use their boats because the crowds are so large that he's feeling pressed by the crowds. He gets into the boat and he preaches that day to the people. He preaches the word of God to them. And at the end of the day, he says to Peter, why don't we go out and go fishing? Sounds like fun. And Peter says, Lord, we've been out all night. We're tired. We smell, we don't feel like it. All we want to do is go home, put some water on our, on, our, on our dirty selves, crawl up into bed, go to sleep, and start all over the next day. But since you seem to be something special, I'll do what you ask. They go out and they cast their nets, and lo and behold, they catch so many fish that it almost sinks two of their boats. Imagine the astonishment of Peter, James, and John. They probably had their, their breath taken away from them. Here they'd worked all night and nothing happened. And this guy comes along and says, cast out over there. And suddenly they have more fish than they've ever had in their life. But Jesus isn't done yet with Peter. Peter realizes that Jesus is not only special, but he must be a holy man because God listens to him. And he falls at his knees and asks Jesus to go away from him. He's not worthy to be in Jesus' presence. He's a sinful man. But Jesus 
again as other ideas. And he looks down at Peter and then at James and John and says, you're no longer going to be catching fish. You're going to go out in the world and you're going to catch people. And their lives changed because they heard and they listened and then they acted. And that's the message for all of us today on this great feast of St. Patrick. The mission of St. Patrick, the mission of Jesus, the mission of the church is never finished. It's never over. There are people out in the world who still crave to hear that voice of God preached to them. There are people out in the world who've even had it preached to them and haven't accepted it. And we need to try again. There are people who have heard the word, have accepted it, but because of their faults and failures, have turned away from him. And kids, that's where you and I and all the people gathered here in church and all the people who are watching online, that's where we come in. Because we come here, we listen to God's word. We hear him touch our hearts. We hear him uh, 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 enliven our souls and open our minds to the gospel. But it's not just for us. This is a great gift that's been given to us and that is being given to us each and every day. But we have to be able to share that. We have to be willing to share that. And so that's where Jesus and I and Deacon John and Mr. Alber and your teachers all want you to go out into the world, sometimes in the classroom, sometimes on the playground, sometimes in your own home, sometimes with your friends, sometimes with your family. And as you grow up, more and more people, we want you to teach and to live the gospel message. That there is a God who loves you. That there is a God who died for you. That the God, there is a God who was raised from the dead for you. There is a God who sits at the right hand of the Father and intercedes for you. There's a God who watches over you and guides your every step. And just as the apostles had to go out into the deep, which means, kids, it wasn't ni a nice little calm uh, lake that they were sitting on. It wasn't like they were only up to water to their knees. If the boat had capsized, they would have been lost. And yet, they trusted in Jesus. They put their faith in our Lord. And not only did he protect them, but he rewarded them, not just with the fish of the day, but with his mission, with his faith, with his love, and most of all, with the gospel. And they persevered, whether it was Peter, James, John, whether it's St. Patrick, whether it's St. Cyril of Jerusalem tomorrow, St. Joseph on Friday, or any of the great saints, male, female, it makes no difference. They listened, they heard, and they did. That's the message for us today. We have to listen. We have to hear. But most importantly, we have to do it. We have to live the gospel by loving God with all our heart, with all our soul, with all our mind, and to love our neighbor as ourselves. We can change hearts, open eyes, and bring people to Christ more by what we do than what we say. So today, kids, tomorrow, kids, every day of your life, remember, you have a mission. You are a missionary for Christ. Wherever you go, whatever you do, you are an ambassador for the living God. What a great and wonderful challenge each of us has been given. And sometimes it can be a little scary. But as you've heard Father say time and time again, that's when you take a deep breath, you say a little prayer to the Holy Spirit, and you do your best. 
That's all God ever asks of us is to believe in him, to trust him, to love him, and to work for him. All for the glory of God and the salvation of souls. Please stand. And now through the intercession of St. Patrick, let us offer our petitions to our Heavenly Father. That the grace, the love found in sacraments of the church may help all of us draw closer to the astounding mercy of God's love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who lead nations may be guided in all their duties by Christ, who glorified God in all things. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who feel weak mentally, physically, or spiritually may have the grace and consolation of the Lord and be strengthened by him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That this community of believers may be strengthened by the spirit for a life of obedience and compassion, following Christ's, Christ's example. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died may know eternal rest in God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the repose of the soul of Rosemary Whitston, for whom this Mass is offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, on this great feast of St. Patrick, fill us with the gift of the Holy Spirit, that we may go out into the world and proclaim the good news. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, become for us our spiritual drink. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me of my sins. <clears throat> Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look upon the sacrificial gifts we offer, Almighty God, on the great feast day of Blessed Patrick. And grant that we who celebrate the mysteries of the Lord's passion may imitate what we now do through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Patrick, you bid your church rejoice. So too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your glory. As, uh, the, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself 
so that from the rising of the sun to the, its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat, Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim, by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Patrick, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world, be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant, Francis, our Pope, Sean, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you've summoned before you. And in your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, Give kind admittance to your kingdom. For there we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, to Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. And now at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Go into all the world and proclaim the gospel. I am with you always, says the Lord.
And let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord our God, nourish in us that faith taught by the preaching of the apostles and kept safe by the labors of blessed Patrick, through Christ our Lord. All right, everybody, have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go forth and be heralds of the Gospel. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May I rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking their own souls. Amen. In the Father, Son, Holy Spirit.